In this how to we are going to learn how to insert records into the database. So in order to uh, show this demonstration what I am going to do is that I am going to create one form in my ASPX page. So let me create one form here. First I am going to delete all these uh, existing uh, code from my code behind as well as from the ASPX page. Okay and uh, here is my form. Now let me just arrange this properly. Okay. Now you can see that I have HTML table and then we have a first name and then we have text box, then last name text, then last name text box, then age and age text box and then active and uh, uh, for active I have kept a drop down whose, I, whose list item is yes and no means there will be two items in this drop down yes and no and then I have a button on click of the button we are executing sur submit data method. So let me create a submit data method as well here. First naturally we will have to use the database connection string so uh, I am just copying pasting at, at the page level so that I will be able to access it anywhere throughout the page and then here is my submit data uh, server side method so yes and then this is the code of the sub submitted data server side method so let me create it yes so here I have copy pasted the code uh, let me correct this code looks like there is some bug here because of this copy pasting and now it looks like our code is fine so yes now let me run this page so here is my uh, UI you can see uh, first name last name is an active and then submit button now before I proceed with the sum, uh, clicking submit I would like to just go through the code once first we have a page level variable called underscore con str where we are retrieving the con str the connection string of the web.config file and saving into this particular variable and then uh, we are instantiating the SQL connection object by passing the connection string as the parameter and uh, the next statement is basically the SQL statement where we have an insert SQL statement and uh, we are using first name last name is an active and we are passing four parameters to this particular insert statement because we have four parameters in this SQL statement so naturally we will have to pass four parameters into the command object as well so here is the four parameters I have taken the area of the SQL parameter and one by one I have added all those four parameters txt first name dot text txt last name dot text uh, txt is dot text and then drop active dot selected value it means that and the first name text box, the last name text box, the is text box and the drop, uh, active uh, drop down and then once we have it then we have added all these SQL parameters into this command uh, this is SQL command object by using cmd.parameters.addRange because this is a SQL, the area of SQL parameters so I am using add range method and then before executing the command non-query we have opened the connection and then we have executed the uh, method called execute non query of the command object remember that the SQL statement that doesn't return any data we need to execute execute non query method and the SQL statement that returns any data we need to fire the fill method of the SQL data adapter we'll talk about the, them later on now once our uh, once our SQL statement has been executed uh, using execute non query method of the SQL command, our work is done. So we are going to close the connection. Remember to open the collection as late as possible and close the connection as early as possible because database connection is very precious and we should not waste these database connections. So I have opened it here. I could have opened it here as well, but instead I just open it wherever I needed and I just close it immediately. Now once we have everything, then because this execute non query uh, re returns the number of rows affected by using this query, so 
we had stored that uh, into the return value integer variable now we are checking if return value integer variable is not is equal to 0 it means that record has been inserted successfully if it will be 0 means no records has been affected so naturally the record will not get uh, record will not get inserted successfully so this is just a simple check whether the uh, whether any record has been affected because of this uh, 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 method or not if it has affected then we are writing the success method otherwise we are not writing any me any success message here now uh, let me uh, enter some data here so I'm going to write for example demo video 2 and yes now when I'll click submit you will see that record inserted successfully I'm getting one a message now let me show you that particular record into this particular uh, d uh, database table you can see that record number 26 demo video 2 and 1 whatever I had inserted here all are getting reflected into the database so this is the way to uh, insert the records into the database now again the same thing I'm just repeating that this is not the best practice the best uh, the best practice is to use the stored procedure to, ex to execute any SQL statement inst instead of using the inline query. Means instead of writing the SQL query in the code. So I will show you how to uh, use stored procedure in the edu.net in following videos.